YouTube as well. Recording in progress. All right. So let's go back to the top. Those that are live, Facebook, you still, you'll see this redo. We want to do this right. So good morning, uh, good afternoon, good now. Just thank you so much for being with us. Mm -hmm. uh, Heather, Grace, Jason, Michael Powers, lovingly known as the powers of love. We truly believe love is the most powerful force in the universe. It guides us. It heals us. It, it, it positions us in incredible things that we wouldn't even see if we just trust the power of love. Yeah. And that's our constant message. And today we have a, a very <clears throat> important gift that we want to share from our hearts to you. And we brought a dear friend of ours, Dr. David Silverman, who we've gotten a chance to get to know and spend some great time, laugh with, break bread together, mm -hmm. you know, dream together, vision together for the good of humanity. And he's been on this journey of what we're going to be talking about for a long time. Yeah, we, you know, when we got to meet you back in Utah in March, I think it was, there was just something so magnetic about your conviction about what we're going to talk about. And I know that um, our lives have been so drastically changed by this gift, and we are so passionate about uh, being able to share it because so many people are struggling. And it's clear. Uh, as the days go by that we have such an incredible opportunity to share something that is so simple, so clear, so for now it's one of these new earth technologies we believe with our whole heart and you represent this in a way that is both love and technology combined. So thank you for taking the time to join us and share your excitement and conviction for what this this gift really is. Well, it's, it's, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank, thank you for having me. Um, I hear an echo. Do you hear it or is it just me? hear an echo? Let me just turn that off. That's probably going to be better. How's that? Is that better? Uh, uh, yeah, it's gone. Okay. It's gone. But uh, thank you. It was so nice meeting you all. Um, we were in uh, Utah together. You, you, you wanted to come see where the whole thing takes place, where they make it, why they make it, how they make it, who makes it, and why they didn't sell it to the pharmaceutical company. And I, I appreciate you. you feel my conviction and passion. That's what I felt the first time I went out and met these people about them and the people like you who get involved with this. It's like very rarely do, do people come across something that can do such good in the world across the world. Mm -hmm. we, also, yeah. we feel kind of insignificant, but you can impact tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of lives and, and have a life of abundance at the same time. It's just a dream come true. Absolutely. Well, maybe that's a great place to start. Um, you know, without getting too much into David is he had a podiatry practice for many, many years and decided that that those days were over when he came across this technology and really started a different life and a different path with all of this. So maybe you tell us about what that shift was, why you left medicine and what, uh, what life began to do when you started working with this this product. Sure, absolutely. And <clears throat> just a correction, I, I, I sold my practice many years ago when I discovered Eastern medicine mm -hmm. and the ways to empower the body to take care of itself versus just react to it with medications and knives. I, I sold my practice, I'm 62 now. I sold my practice when I was 39. But um, I, live, I, I live half the year in Maryland outside of Washington, DC. Now we're Florida residents. We're, we head down there in November for about seven months. I play golf every day, um, which I didn't think I'd be doing at 62. Plus, I didn't think I'd take no medications at 62. I didn't think I'd feel like I'm 26 at 62. Certainly didn't think I, I wouldn't be taking ibuprofen. I was taking ibuprofen in my 30s hmm. when I would play golf. But bottom line is I owned a practice here, a surgery center. I was board certified in foot surgery. I loved what I did, felt kind of limited. And what, what got me into this world that led me to ASEA, that led me to what we're talking about, this breakthrough, was my mother suffered from a horrible pain problem back in, uh, this is 97, it had been going on for about four years, and she'd been everywhere. And a friend of mine, another doctor said, have you tried using magnets? Hmm. Now, understand, I was traditionally trained. I'm like, for what? <laughs> like refrigerator magnets? What are you talking about? And mm -hmm. he said, no. And he showed me information on magnets. I'm like, heck, I love my mom. I'll, I'll get it. Let me just try it and see what happens. It's not going to do anything, but how can I not try it? Well, to my surprise, her pain was dramatically better in one day, dramatically wow. putting magnets on this area. And um, <clears throat> thought it was a placebo. Um, and then my back went out 
And I tried it. My back used to go out about once or twice a year. I'd be out of work for probably about four days, about a week. I'd be taking a bunch of medications. And I used it. It worked for me. And I said, wow, that's a placebo. It's very hard for me to believe. Then I, I tried it on patients and I saw about maybe 30, 40 percent of the people felt better putting the magnets on. I said, there's something here. But I wasn't taught about it. So then I, I tried it on a limping dog. I wanted to eliminate placebo. So I tried it on a dog with arthritis and the dog stopped limping in about 20 minutes. I'm like, okay, that rocked my world, guys. I was <laughs> like, holy cow, if this works and everybody laughs at it, what else is out there? That right. yes. Good question. So, and then I read this book recent, soon after that. It's called Politics and Healing, mm. The Suppression and Manipulation of American Medicine. And wow. it, it blew me away and that set me on the path. So what happened was those that mm. magnetic company, that company was, was marketed through word of mouth marketing because no one believed it. It's like, here, try yeah. it, see what happens. So I, I got involved with it. it was network marketing, right? And I didn't think I was going to sell my practice, but I was having so much fun empowering people to, to get off of medications using magnets and different, different modalities that I was like, and they were paying me for it. The company pays you to create a ripple effect. You, you tell people, they tell people, they tell people, and, and they pay you for that instead of sp spending money on middlemen. I got involved with the business. Three years later, I sold my practice. Okay. And, I, and that's what I did. Wow. But I didn't do, my mistake was I didn't do what you did with this company. You went to meet the people. Yeah. You came to the epicenter for the world and this company is in 34 countries now, but you came to meet them. I didn't do that with the first company. So mm -hmm. once I, I got to a certain point, I started seeing things that didn't seem right, that I was not paying attention to. And I realized that they were, they were bad people. And, and they, it, the, the classic multi-level marketing greed, 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 use people. And I ended up quitting and I got a job as a health consultant. I didn't want to go back into practice again. I just felt like it was a step back for me. I didn't, I didn't know it was going to come along. Little did I know that in uh, December of 12, my friend Debbie, who you know, Debbie brought me this and she did not know that my dad had a grave issue with his prostate. This time it was my father who was ill. So the reason I investigated this was because of my dad saw the amazing changes in him and he's fine today. In fact, we're, we're going out of town tomorrow to a special dinner. We're driving up, um, up, up to New Jersey. Um, he's 84 now, but um, again, I thought it was a placebo. Then yeah. I kept, I kept referring people to my friend, Debbie. They kept coming back saying, this is incredible. Blood sugar, breathing, skin, children, uh, spectrum behavior. I mean, to everything. Yeah. And I said, maybe it's, maybe it's a placebo, you know, so I, I try to eliminate placebo when I'm investigating something. Mm -hmm. my, my friend did it for me. He had skin lesions on his body. He was drinking it because his joints hurt so bad. In a month, he said, I don't hurt anymore. We laughed and said it was a placebo. A week later, he said, all these skin lesions that were in my armpits just fell off. This is doing something at the cellular level. And that's when I got on a plane and I went to do what you did. Mm -hmm. I thought if I'm going to get involved, I got to know this is, these are good people. And that set my journey off. So now I'm on the medical board of the company. It's a volunteer position. And um, I'm just, um, I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur. I told people, they told people, they told people. It's like a ripple effect. I got caught up in the ripple effect because my friend brought it to me. You got caught up in it because I helped a, a friend of mine who's a urologist in Annapolis who told somebody who told somebody who told somebody who told somebody who told you. And thank God you guys listened. And I'm just glad to be on this journey with you. Thank yeah. God that yeah. you told somebody. <laughs> yeah. I am sitting here, you know, just yeah. briefly, you know, how it came in. We've told a little bit of our story, but our dear friends, Bob and Shannon, who we adore and love and have been journeying with them, doing music and, and spiritual events together. And we just adore them and trust them. And there's no question. And they came to us with this three months before I got really sick. And three months before we were a no, we didn't have any need for it. It was a, we saw, we saw the, the potency of it, but it just wasn't a need for us at the moment. But then three months later, I'm in the hospital for 10 days, isolated with double, you know, I'm having lung issues, you know, I'm having these, you know, mm -hmm. and so Bob ends up sending me a sample that says, just start nebulizing it. And my lungs and my breathing, everything started getting restored. I 
sent home oxygen. I sent home drugs. I didn't need any more. And I was able to breathe again, that holy breath, which, you know, sometimes people equate with God. God is the breath, that, that gift of life. Mm -hmm. And when we looked at each other going, this actually is Wait something, <laughs> there is potency to this. And there's a gift in this. Yeah. And you know, I always say, follow love, follow love, follow the little love fly, like little light flies. Bob and Shannon are that to us. And so mm -hmm. when this came as a gift of love, yeah. it was like, pay attention. You know, so as those of you that are listening, listen with your inner ear and your inner eye. Let's learn to listen between the lines and hear the passion and, and the gift that this has been. Um, and that's how it has shown up in our life. Yeah, it really has been. It's been a kind of an, an unfolding package because we started, you know, with one thing being drastically resolved, but it's just been one thing after another, you know, it's in our lives. We didn't know how many things that it could actually solve. And so I think that's been part of the beauty. And I love what you shared that, you know, somebody goes in for one thing and all of a sudden, like their skin is changing and, you know, things are falling off and their eyesight is getting better and their teeth, their gums are getting, it's just so much um, that it, it, it's a constant discovery of the body and what it's capable of doing. So can you talk a little bit more about maybe the mechanics of why it's possible? Yep. In fact, I shot a video called why it's possible.com. That's right. That's right. That's <laughs> and then right. an explanation. <laughs> right. Why so, it's possible.com. Why it's possible. I, actually, I, I put a site together called gettingyoungerclub.com. And it's, it's there with other things too, explaining what I'm going to explain now. So people don't have to explain it to their friends. They're like, hey, this works. It worked for me. You need to look at it. And they go to gettingyoungerclub.com. And it's like, well, how does it work? Here. What is it? Here. And you just click these little short little videos, including a video explaining why the founders of the company did not sell it to the pharmaceutical company and wanted to yeah. buy it. So you know, powerful. Mm. It's, you, you met them. I mean, yeah, you met them. And, totally. You know, anybody that thinks pharmaceutical companies are, are in business strictly to help humanity, I, I think they're, 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 they're not in touch. I mean, pharmaceutical companies do good, mm -hmm. um, but they they don't want people to, to, to stay well. They need people to get sick. They need them to have problems. And so, so they can come in as the, as the white knight and, and, yes. and give Absolutely. them the medications. But um, this was almost sold to a pharmaceutical company and they, it was really going to be a business play. And they said, no, they're not, we're not selling it because they were going to just bury it. And so what it is, what's unique about it <clears throat> is that it's something that's in us. This is not a food. It's not a nutritional. It's not a pharmaceutical. What's in this bottle is something called redox signaling molecules. And you'll see a better explanation in the video, but it, our cells make it from saline. I'll explain that in a minute. But the fact is when we're younger, we produce more. And so at puberty, our mitochondria is where our body produces this. This is produced. This is exactly what's in us. That's why you can't be allergic to it. It's in us. Mm -hmm. um, in a, in a, a FDA registered production facility, which you went through in Pleasant Grove, Utah, but it's in us. We produced a lot more when we were younger. So when we're children, we produce a lot. Children have a ton of energy. Children don't have diseases. Ch very few. They have some. A lot of times it's because their mitochondria are not producing enough of this. Children don't need this product unless they have an issue, right? But at puberty, our mitochondria start going downhill. So we produce less of the molecule we burn for fuel called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. And, but during the production of ATP, we also produce these little, what's called reductants and oxidants, reductant oxidants. That's where redox comes from. Mm -hmm. And there are books on this. There, there's, this is a huge field of science. This is going to dwarf the pharmaceutical industry when the world catches on to what Thank this Thank goodness. Means. Yeah. Well, there are yeah. textbooks on it. There are, there are books that are more readable. That, that are really good. The bottom line is this. We produce less and less after puberty and you see what happens to us. Mm -hmm. right? So we, we, we um, at puberty, we start dying at puberty and people say, that's not true. We don't start dying at puberty. We really do. We start declining. We see it happen to our grandparents. We see it happen to our parents, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 100 maybe. But um, we decline at puberty and people will say, well, that's not true because a 20 year old is just as healthy as a 10 year old. Mm. Mm -mm. They're not. <laughs> yeah. You know, a 10 year old falls off her bicycle and breaks two bones and bangs her head at 10. She'll heal. 
She might have surgery, but she'll heal pretty quick. I used to do surgery on children. They heal really quickly. But if the same injury happens to her at 20 instead of 10, she'll heal quickly, but not as fast at 10. So there's the proof that we're already slowing down. We don't bounce back. But also, it's, it's also... It, it, it's not just from injuries, right? I mean, then again, she falls off her bike at 50. She's going to be in physical therapy for a couple of years. She might have a ringing in her ears. She could have all kinds, she could die. If she falls off her bicycle at 85, she's going to die. Mm -hmm. Breaking two bones and banging her head on the ground, probably going to die, yeah. uh, unfortunately, there or afterwards, because her body's going to not bounce back. She's right. going to have blood clots, whatever. But you see diseases, you see, you don't see a lot of cancers in young people. You know, as you get older, we get worse. Well, we're producing less and less and less of this. And the question is, what is it doing? What it does is it amplifies signal. It makes it so that our cells can communicate with each other to the immune system, right? You have a cell that goes normal cells. One of them goes bad, whether it's mutating or it's damaged by trauma or it's old and needs to be replaced. If yeah. it remains there, you got a problem, right? If it's your pancreas, you got enough dead cells, you're, you're going to go go to the doctor, you're thirsty, you're urinating all the time. Oh, Dr. Silverman, your blood glucose is 750. You need metformin, you need insulin. No one's addressing this. Mm. Well, if our cells are always dying, we don't all get diabetes. Why? Because they get replaced with good ones. And the way they get replaced is the immune system gets a signal that there's a dead cell or dying cell in my pancreas or my retina or my lung or any, any cell or 70 to 100 trillion cells. So there are millions of cells dying all the time, but the immune system gets a signal to come down, kill the cell, put it, it's called apoptosis, dissolve it, the, the debris gets carried away in the bloodstream, the lymph system, and then the good cell replicates itself mm -hmm. and you're back to having a normal cell. Well, how does that happen? Remember, there's a signal, the immune system gets a signal. Where does the signal come from? The signal comes from the good cells that are around the bad one that sense, they're communicating all the time, mm -hmm. bad cell. They call for help. The signal goes through the body to the immune system. As I say, immune system cell comes down, does its job, boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. What redox molecules do, they don't cure you. They don't hear, heal you. They don't block pathways. They don't do any of that. They do is amplify signal. And the signal they amplify is the call for help. When you're 10 and you fall off your bike, help, help, broken bone cells, help, right? When you're 30, help. When you're 62, like I am, help. <laughs> help. When you're 80, help, help. Bad cells remain. Go to the doctor. You got, you got a problem with your joints. You got a problem with your breathing. You got a problem with your hormones. You got a problem with your vision. It's cells that are not good cells anymore mm -hmm. because the immune system is just not getting the signal to do what it's supposed to do. So it amplifies signal. The other thing it does is it raises your body's levels of activated uh, glutathione, which is an mm. antioxidant. Huge. And it, it's double blind studies, placebo control studies shows it turns genes back on the turn off epigenetically over time. It turns them back on. So it's a wonderful thing. And the safety part of it, I'll just finish on that. And if you want to talk about the saltwater thing, we can. People always ask about the saltwater. Yeah. Thing. Yes. Uh, um, but the safety from Utah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> from but we, we, you know, we all get that, right? Yeah. Sure. The, the safety part of it is this. When I looked at it for my dad, I couldn't find studies on my dad's disease. There were no studies on diseases. But I talked to people that had some pretty amazing things happen. Mm -hmm. And I looked at the safety. I didn't care how it worked. I just wanted to know, was it safe? Mm -hmm. Or what was the risk? There's always a risk in medicine. Whether I do surgery, there was a risk of infection, right. non-healing. I write prescriptions, there are risks. But there are no risks. Three things that are different than this, than a medication. And there's a money back guarantee. So anybody that doesn't do it, that has a problem, either is just thinks Google is like some research engine. It's a search engine. It's not a, it's a research engine. And they, they, they can't say, I have nothing to lose. It's a money back guarantee and it's safe as water. And the reason it's safe as water is you can't be allergic to it. It's in you. It doesn't interfere with medications. So if you're taking a medication or 20 medications, you don't have to worry about this. You just baseline everything in your health. If you have a sleeping problem, that's your problem. You have a blood sugar problem. What's your blood sugar? You, you have breathing. How, when, you wheeze. When do you wheeze? How often do you wheeze? Your yeah. child goes into like this sometimes. How often does it happen? How long does it last? You baseline everything. Keep taking your medications that have gotten mm -hmm. you where you are. Maybe you were here. You wanted to be here. And the medicines got you to here with side effects. Just keep taking your medicines. So it doesn't interfere with medicines. And there's no toxicity. Yeah. You know, when you take too much of, when I wrote prescriptions, 
I, I, I had to know the dosage because if dosage was this, I, t I give it to, to Mrs. Jones, her liver metabolizes it, it comes down, mm -hmm. she takes another dose, it keeps getting back up to there. But if I wrote it for five times the amount by accident, her liver couldn't metabolize it fast enough, the toxicity would build up, her liver could shut down, her kidneys could shut down, she could have a heart attack. She, all these things can happen. This is not a medicine. This is made from saline. Our cells make it from sodium chloride and H2O. So if you drink too much of it, your liver doesn't metabolize it. it. If you drink too much, your body just turns the excess back into what it was, which was salt and water. So there's, they couldn't even find a lethal dose. Every medicine has a lethal dose. Mm -hmm. And as you said, you were breathing it into your lungs. You can spray it in your eyes. You can do whatever you want with it. It's just, there's nothing in medicine that's as safe as this. The only thing that's as safe as this in the world is probably oxygen and water. Right. Yeah. I, I, one thing I just, I love about this too, um, is that it's not just the physicality. We've noticed an uptick in our just connection, the spirit and our clarity, you know, the, the benefits of physical, mental, and emotional and people that have had, you know, years of struggling emotionally and mentally. And this is like such a lifesaver and we've just seen it and we are not struggling. So talk a little bit about that. So, so people that. often report mental clarity, right? Focus, like the fog has been list lifted. Yeah. Um, I kind of think when people see, and we'll talk about the gel version of it quickly, because it's a quick, when someone's had a result with this, it's almost like the fog lifts. It, it's kind of like when I saw that dog stop limping with the magnet on its hip, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, and I'm like the fog, the fog lifts. It's like the cloak has been pulled off my eyes. I'm waking up to what the world really is, not what the masses believe that it is. Right. Yeah. But it crosses, crosses the blood brain barrier and the, uh, the genetic, um, Expression double blind placebo control study shows it turns genes back on. One of them controls uh, um, serotonin. Mm. So, this is really, it, it, and, and to everybody, it sounds too so good to be true. Most people, most people, not everybody. I mean, you're, you're, you're following as a little more hip to what's going on in the world, I think. But, yeah. bottom line is, people still need to see a result. So, again, if memory is a problem, mood is a problem, focus then just document all of that and track your progress drinking between four and eight ounces a day with what most people drink. I drink eight ounces a day. <clears throat> when I get on a plane, I just got back from Europe. I was in France and my wife, wife and I in Sweden for three weeks. When I go on planes and I'm going to be traveling around a bunch of sick people, I drink a whole 32 ounce bottle a day. There's, there's no, can't hurt me. I'm just like, yeah. if I drink too much of it, I don't care. Just, just, just money. Uh, but I want to be as strong as I can be. We're going to Bora Bora in a couple of weeks. I'll be drinking a bottle a day for a few days yeah. before that. <laughs> but it, but it, but it is safe. So people baseline their mood, memory, sleep, energy, all of it, um, mm -hmm. libido, and just yeah. track their progress over 30, 60, 90 days. And 90% of people at day 90 are like, oh my God, <laughs> it's true. And about 60% say that by day 30. And about 15% of them say that in the first week, that's with the drink, not the gel. The gels, as you know, is a little quicker. Mm -hmm. Totally. Well, that's, you know, you talk about that. We've talked to a few people over the time when we've shared this with somebody, you know, I tried that for, you know, it just didn't a work, week. you yeah. know, and it's <laughs> like you just said, and I love that, like <clears throat> anything we know, like good habits are, are 40 days, 90 days, like things really change. You can't, you know, you've really got to be consistent with something like this, right? David, like this yeah. is, you can't just try it a week. Yeah. I mean, you know, some people can take it and, and totally improperly and get amazing results. I mean, mm. some people can do that and, and God bless them. They're lucky because sometimes people don't see results. They start to start doubting it. Right. The little voices come in. You now your spouse says you're wasting our money on salt water or, <laughs> or I read online, it's just salt water or it's a scam. But once you've had a result, you're never at the mercy of an opinion. Once you, because you know, it's like, yeah. you know, there are very few yeah. things that I know. I mean, it, you know, I could watch the news and, and I have my opinions of what's going on, but do I know anybody that says they know Democrat, Republican, it doesn't matter to me. How do you know? You know, <laughs> how, how do you know? I don't know. But, you know, there, once you do know this is real, you don't care what anybody says. And, you know, it's, it's, it's going to become mainstream. And I'll just say, Anybody that hasn't seen something, this there's a 30 day money back guarantee on the product. Mm -hmm. It's produced in an FDA registered production facility, 30 day money back guarantee. Don't buy it from third party vendors that, that could be yeah. old, 
there's actually a counterfeit product now in Europe. It's been out. Oh, interesting. The bigger the company gets, the more of a target it is for that kind of stuff. Credit card fraud, all kinds of stuff. But they made a, the, the company launched in 2009. You know, I can't get, I can't get everybody to have results by day 30. Money back guarantee is up. Remember I said 90 by day 90. But the gel version of it came out in 2014. And it's called Renew 28. And it's, it's, it's the gel version of this. You shake it up. It's clear. There's no smell. It's not like essential oils or anything. And there's no greasiness. In fact, it's marketed to rejuvenate skin cells. I mean, most people don't think I look like I'm 62. Whether I do or not, I don't really care because I know I feel like I'm 26. You can reverse you look that. Great. Yeah, go I mean, really, you know, <laughs> totally. everybody... <laughs> Everybody wants to live younger, longer. Yes. Right. But the day some, if someone wants to have a response and be bulletproof against any negative opinion, if they yeah. do this, they will absolutely know that this is real in 10 minutes, mm -hmm. not 30 days, not 90 days. And you've seen mm -hmm. it. You guys have seen yep. it. And experienced it. Yeah. yeah right. You, you experience yeah. yourself and you see it happen and you find people that have something that hurts them right? Yeah. It could be their shoulder hurts a little bit or their shoulder, they can't move it. They, it's frozen. This one's fine. Could be their neck is stiff from working at a computer. It could be a menstrual cramp. It could be someone that says to me, that's, that's my age, say they're 50 or more and, uh, or they're obese. And they say, I don't have any pain. I don't have anything that hurts me. I said, just do a 10 minute test and see what happens. Cause I know what happens to nine out of 10 people. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not one or two, it's yeah. not four or five. But if someone says they don't have anything that hurts them, I'll say, well, hey, look, I'm, I'm 62. And, and I, can you do this and just come up like without holding on to anything with no discomfort? And they'll say, well, I don't know. And a lot of people, when they if, if they say no, they say I don't have anything wrong with them, they do it. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's stiff. That hurts because people don't do that. So how do they know that it hurts? But a lot of people will admit, yeah, my back hurts right now or my or hip or whatever. But all they do is they, they rate their discomfort level at, at, at minute zero. And at minute 10, you're going to ask them how they feel. This is, this is what you see. And, it, and you realize it's just, it's just unbelievable. And all they do is they, they put the gel on three times in five minutes, right? They apply it once, it dries, twice, dries, three times, it dries. Remember, no smell, no greasiness, nothing. And at 10 minutes, ask them how they feel. And it stuns, excuse me, the hell out of people. Yeah, I've never seen anybody that wasn't stunned. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Open-minded acupuncturists, I mean, people that are out of the box, they're like, unbelievable. It's just, yeah. so, yeah. and, and, that, and that gets people committed to go the 90 days on the drink. If they're not getting results after a week at four ounces a day, they should double it at least temporarily to what mm -hmm. I drink every day, which yeah. is the magic eight, eight ounces a day. So um, yeah, consistency is pretty important. You know, and that's Huge. amazing because, and you're sharing this. And I remember when we first did it, I had a really bad headache. You had, we jumped on a Zoom with you and you were talking about this very thing. And I had a bad, bad headache. And I just said, I'm going to try it, you know? And like, I was blown away, Yeah. you know, that it, it did, but, it, but it's not, it wasn't marketed for joint pain. It's just showing you the potency of inflammation, which is the house of all dis-ease in our body mm -hmm. is when we're inflamed. So you see a direct result, a demonstration of this going right into contact into your bloodstream. And it was, it was marketed and created for skin repair for to to make you look beautiful right One. and to help heal repair cells yeah. in the skin that uh where wrinkles or blemishes or various things and you know and i just want to say to anybody that's watching this right now you might be going oh my god what is this we call this a medical miracle mm -hmm. because it truly is a miracle yeah. and especially in a time of a health crisis on the planet that we're dealing with and the fear of losing health i you know there's something that I truly believe that the, the light always shines in the darkness, that there is something here on the planet that we're passionate about, Heather and I are really sharing. And that's why we brought on David. And about that skincare, about Renew 28, I just remembered that it's been in pre-Emmy bags. It's been in a lot of the, the Hollywood glamour scene out here in, in Los Angeles, that it is the celebrity favorite because it is it, they're seeing results, they're feeling results, and it's been phenomenal, right? I love yeah, that. That's it's you got you got to, you got to try it. I mean, you know, yeah. I, I don't know those people, but it's it's when you share it with someone. It was shared with me, and I'm like, I feel obligated. I didn't get involved with the business side of this for about eight months because I I didn't want to get involved in network marketing. I just yeah. didn't. 
I, I, too many, I get it and burn too many bad people involved. I'm like, great product. I referred people yes. to Debbie, right? You too? Yes. Right? <laughs> Network marketing in its purest form is a beautiful thing. Yes. I mean, if you have a, something of value to share, and yes. sometimes it needs a little bit of a story, a little bit of hand holding, and you share it with somebody, it's like you help you 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 help them in some way. Either it's their health, their 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 anti aging, their children child is sick. You help them, and the company pays you instead of paying middlemen or drug reps, right? And then that, every time that person orders product, you get paid over and over and over again. And you know, I I know we're not really focusing on the business side of this, but too many people struggle or settle through life. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all. Always... Yeah, I want to be clear. We we definitely we do want to talk about this because it's health and wealth. They're two legs. Yeah, that they're this part this ASEA does it. It deals with two major because in this time of crisis that we've been dealing with the planet, one of the two things that have been in fear is our financial well being. People have lost their income, they've lost their jobs, mm -hmm. and they're losing their health, or they fear losing their health. So I think it's important, David, to talk about that. Mm -hmm. Well, and you know, and they realize too, not just because the pandemic, <clears throat> like oh, it's over. It's kind of like if that happened once. You know what, what? What's protecting myself from if something like happens again? Some war happens. Some grid shuts down. Someone sh sets off an EMP. Who, yes. who who knows what's coming? But I think it woke people up because I think a lot of people don't. Um, they, they don't. They when we talk about having a financial plan B that has you know if something happens to Plan A, you're okay. A lot of people don't see the need for it or don't want to know the need for it until they need it. And I think coronavirus really kind of woke people up, but um, uh, it, it's, it, it's a beautiful thing when you have all these stars aligned, you have an incredible product that's a breakthrough for humanity. I mean, this is a bigger, it's not a medicine, but this is much bigger than penicillin was as far as a breakthrough for humanity. Penicillin addressed infection, saved tens of millions of lives enormous breakthrough and it kind of ushered in the drug age right <clears throat> and now it's been kind of politicized and you know like i said at the beginning when i called up this book. politics yes. and healing yes. and suppression and manipulation of american medicine it's this is an amazing book with documented cases in court of what our three-letter departments and our right. agencies have done <laughs> but anyway um it it's 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 nice to insulate yourself because the company spends no money on advertising right and they they pay us on a residual basis so i made a lot of money as a doctor but i didn't have any time freedom i, I just didn't and i kind of resented that because i saw friends of mine you know whether they were a tax accountant or a real estate agent or whatever and 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 they weren't dealing with blood they weren't dealing with pus they weren't dealing with infection they weren't cutting off feet they didn't have to do all this stuff I was doing this and I felt kind of like I deserve a better quality of life. I mean, I'm working my ass off and, and my kids were growing up. I'm like, I, so network marketing to me was so it's such a beautiful thing. It's just that I did not investigate the piece about the people in my initial company. And I should have. And this time I did. And that's when I said, you got me. You guys said no to the pharmaceutical buyout. You're going to launch a network marketing company with a product that's made from salt and water from Salt Lake City. That's right. where the company is <clears throat> in the middle of the biggest recession since the depression in 2009. And you're turning down this offer from a pharmaceutical company because you want it to come out to humanity and not get buried away. Mm -hmm. And you walk away with tens of millions. I'm in. Yeah, right? that's that was all got involved yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, and that's that, that was huge. That's so big, and and we've talked about this of when we went to Utah. I mean, we were in tears, David. I mean, mm -hmm. it was just meeting Tyler and 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 seeing the the. I felt like I was going through Willy Wonka land. It was like this pristine, it was. Amount, you know, it yeah. was like to to see the heart and the soul, and that's what I know. We've heard from Tyler, you know, one of the co-founders of this company, that you know he and his father. Virtus, they didn't come with experience of multi-level marketing. They just had a passion. They had an experience. They witnessed it, and they just wanted to get it out to the, yeah. to, to humanity. And one of the things that I remember hearing Tyler talk about, he goes, if we're going to do this, it has to have a soul. And when I was coming home and I was nebulizing this, and I was watching what, in the sea, they have this thing called the Ethos Academy. And for me, I was crying of tears of gratitude because I get chills because 
even the word Ubuntu, if you understand Ubuntu, and a lot of our viewers on our page understand what Ubuntu really is, because this is something we have understood and understand of a principle of a way of being in the world. What's not just good for the one, it's good for the many, it's in service to other or service to self. These are two distinct paths you can go by in your life that determine the success and mm-hmm. in the, in the, in your radiance of your life is if you're in service to other service to self. And mm-hmm. seeing this company that's in a, in a market that's gotten a bad reputation in a lot of ways of, of snake oil or you know, glitz and glamor, it wasn't mm-hmm. a SIA. And yeah, this was some, such a redemption for us because I think anybody who's watching this has probably had an experience with multi-level marketing in some capacity and that Im- immediate wall that goes up and the ears close and there's just all these assumptions made. And I think when we came into this experience, it took us a little while before we could really fully let our, the levels of our heart open. And we've just experienced time and time again, the integrity, the, the philanthropic, the philanthropic spirit of the company to go beyond and to give back, which said so much to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could you speak to that a little bit? Cause I mean, you, you, for us, you demonstrate the heart and soul. Yeah. You're not the glitz and glamour guy. I mean, you're, you're a man who's in his heart. We've been in your presence and it's, but you are an emanation of this heart and soul. Can you speak just a little bit to that? Yeah. Thank you. And that's the way I feel about you guys. I remember we we're having that dinner. We were at that, um, that little, uh, we had that separate, the night after the event, we went out for dinner. We yeah. had to hang out a little bit. Um, yeah. So it, it's hard. It, you, you mentioned the corporation has a soul mm-hmm. and it all started, I think with Virtus and Tyler saying no to the buyout and just yeah. deciding to, to, um, you know, be for the people, not for the profit. And um, they hope um, uh, people and principles above ego and economics. And that's rare. And, and you came and you saw, if you didn't come to Salt Lake to see it yourself, you'd still probably be doing this, but, and you'd, you'd want to believe, but then when you realize it's really, that's really who they are, mm-hmm. it, it, it's just like, God, I, I've been waiting for this my whole life. Did I ever think yes. that I was going to be, my, that my life was going to be dedicated to making people aware of something that's made from salt and water? <laughs> no, but I, 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 and I don't have to do this anymore. I mean, I make plenty of money. I don't, and it's all residual. I make it while I sleep. I don't have to do it, but I love it. You know, I do these live Zooms with Q&A every week. You know, you guys have been on it. You can invite people to it, but it's the, it's the, it, it, they walk the talk, right? So you mentioned giving back, they have an advancing life foundation. And what they do with that is they build, they build schools, not just when they match any donations mm-hmm. that people make, they match the company matches donations, but they go, they build the school in Ecuador, like the, the founders of the company, the CEO, the president, we go down and we're building a school in the middle of the a vocational school in the middle of Ecuador. People say, well, that's just because you want business in Ecuador. The company isn't even in Ecuador. We're in 34 mm-hmm. countries. Ecuador is not one of them. We do it in Africa. We dig wells in Africa. People have never had clean water in their entire lives. Entire lives, clean water. They drink water that's just disgusting. And people get sick. Kids die. You know, um, uh, Cambodia. We're not in Cambodia. So the company doesn't just do things to, to make it like a PRG. Don't we look like we're great? Look what we're doing. Let's make mm-hmm. some money. It, it, they really do walk. The, the talk and um, it, it's humbling. I mean, there's not one ASEA event that I go to that I, at some point I don't cry. It's yeah. just, it's like crying because of seeing the faces of people they've helped because of hearing the stories of people sharing what the product had done for them or their child or their mother with, you know, with now they remember the kid's name, they had lost their memory. It's like, I remember, you know, so many things that come with age that we just accept is the way things are. Um, it, it, it's, it, it's, 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 it's hard to convey how good this company is. Do they make mistakes? Nobody makes mistakes, but they're honest mistakes. They never do it because of what's good for their pocketbook. They've been offered many times to sell this company. People want to buy it. The bigger they get, the bigger the number gets. I mean, they did about $200 million last year. They've done a billion in sales cumulatively, but the offers will keep coming. But they can't, they, they can't take the chance that someone buys it and says, we're not, we're, we're not going to bury it. We're going to bring it to the world. And then a company like Pfizer or Merck or somebody comes in and they, they buy it for three quarters of a billion dollars. And then Merck comes in, we'll buy it for $2 billion. Mm-hmm. What's that? The, the, 
the decision yeah, yeah. that the new owners have, they could say, no, we'll take the money. But the buck stops here with these people. And it, it is very different than most network marketing companies. It's the way network marketing should be. Absolutely. And the relationships, you know, this has been so about relationships and really getting into the foxhole together and learning how to build as a team without the flash. Yeah. I love, you know, every time I think about the salt and the water and the process that this goes through, I think of, uh, you know, in a passage in the Bible that talks about you are the salt of the earth. You are a city, a light on a hill, and how these base, very basic elements that are very symbolic that we are sharing are not just so symbolic. They literally are the healers, both you know, in our physical body, but also in our physical, our mental, and our emotional, and our spiritual body. And it's just such a, an honor to be a part of such integrity. And the excitement that is just a groundswell of people realizing, wow, this is, we're doing something so much bigger than just a next level marketing company. This mm -hmm, is, mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. It's, 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 it already wants to belong, I think. I mean, the, the company's, I don't, I, I don't want to say tagline. I don't know what, why you, what you say. It's believe, belong, become. You know, you know, you, everybody's got their blinders on. They're like, okay, I don't believe it. That sounds too good to be true. But once you believe in the product and you meet other people who are successful in the company who just started as a concerned mom with a child with a skin disease and they got involved and they're a diamond in the company yeah. and you, you start to believe in the, pro you believe in the product, you believe in the, in the, that, that it's possible for you to have abundance in your life. If someone's coachable and motivated, they can make as much money as they want here. They can donate it all. We have people that have come in as multi, multi, multi-millionaires. They don't even want the money. They just never found a way. Maybe they made their money by, by running car washes or, or convenience stores. They made millions, but they never really had the, the gratification that I had as a doctor and you do spiritually with people to really help somebody mm -hmm. and, and to be the conduit to help other people. They get involved for different reasons, but it is, um, it, it's, it's a... It's, it's, it's a joy. And a lot of people have jobs. This is a joy. Yeah. Well, you, you know, you, you're touching on legacy, you know, and that's, that's the thing that you can look at, you know, that we are your legacy of what you did. The yes that you said, you know, 12 years ago or so is leaving a legacy. You can lay your head at night knowing that there are countless lives who have become better, you know, to, 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 a life without good health is not a quality of life. Yeah. And there is support. We, we're here giving you vision. We're giving you hope. And without hope or vision, as the Bible talks about, the people, the people perish. perish yeah. and, and there's just no need to suffer. And so we just want to thank you, David, for your time and your heart and just the yes that you gave so long ago. That's allowing us to share with those that we love and everybody that's watching. We love you and, and just care about you. So if you have any interest or questions on this, we will be putting some links down below here in the Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. And if you're watching this on YouTube, we'll have all that in the description on how to find out more about this information. Um, we will be having a four o'clock Zoom later on uh, with some individuals that will talk a little bit more about this. But David, Messages, we adore yeah. you. We love you. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys. You're, uh, you kind of look a little like me a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. You got a nicer beard. That's right. So one thing, <laughs> well, listen, one thing I wanted to mention, I didn't get time to do it. So this will just be a teaser. People want to know, well, I didn't get into the salt and water. Why, why it's made. Oh, from yes. Water. Yes. So let's just leave it like this. Go to gettingyoungerclub.com and look for the little, look at the link that has a little salt shaker and water with a red line going through it. And okay. then you'll understand why it is made from salt water. It's not, yeah. you can't patent salt water and you can't have intellectual property, but there is on this. But I think that's a good way to get someone to go and say, let me take a look at this. And instead of me taking 10 minutes to explain it, go there. Perfect. 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 Well, Getting we younger. Club. Club. Getting Getting club. 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 Yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah. leave all of those links and then if you if you want to find out a little bit more we're gonna uh make a way for you to directly get in contact with us and just thanks for joining us mm -hmm. thanks thanks guys thanks for being part of this you're leaving a legacy love Thank you, you all right have a great thanks, day too.